Yo, what's going on guys? Tanmaya for Simple Snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial and operational research, especially the game theory part. So this is very introductory video on game theory. So we're just going to take a theoretical look at it and understand what exactly is game theory. And then later on, we'll see some numericals in the upcoming videos. So if you are absolute beginner and if you don't know what game theory is, make sure you watch this video till the end so that for the numericals will be very easy to understand. Now the technical definition of game theory is the study of mathematical models of strategic interaction between rational decision makers. So if you Google up this definition, I suppose this is on Wikipedia and it is completely jargon filled and it at times is confusing. So let's put this game theory in simple words. So game theory is a tool or mechanism used by players to understand the strategy of their respective competition. So this makes it more simple, right? So who are these players? So these players can be anyone in sports, let's say two different teams playing against each other. We have businesses who are into same domain competing against each other. Then we have games, competitions and wherever there is some level of competition and some rules to be followed, game theory can be applied. So what does game theory exactly do? So this is what is stated in point number three. Now game theory provides optimum solutions such as games, assuming that each other of the player wants to maximize his profit or minimize his loss. So let's take an example of any business, right? So if there are two businesses competing in the same domain, each of them want to maximize their profit and minimize their loss. If they understand each other's strategy, they can do something to maximize their profit or to minimize their loss, right? So this game theory is used a lot in practical scenarios, especially in businesses, but not just in businesses, anywhere where there is a competition, for example, sports, games, competitions and whatnot, game theory can be applied. So to understand this game theory, I'll just take a small example. So let's say we have two car companies. So we have car company one and we have car company two. Now each of these car companies has one SUV and one sedan. So two types of cars are being manufactured by both company one and company two. So now company one is planning on another sedan. Okay. So they have been planning it for years and they're going to be launching this soon. And now car company two has got a rumor about this and now they know that if these guys launch this sedan too, their own car sedan sale will go down, right? So people will buy a sedan two of car company one because this is brand new and the sale of car company two for these sedans will go down. So this is something that the analyst at car company two have already predicted. And now they have two options. They can either create their own sedan so they can develop a new model for their own company or now they have also one more option wherein what they can do is they can give discounts on their existing sedan. So let's say this sedan is for 5 lakhs and even this sedan is for 5 lakhs. And now they are going to introduce sedan 2 at 6 lakhs. So what if they reduce the cost of 5 lakhs to 4 lakhs? So even if this new sedan is launched, people will still buy this sedan, right? Because it is being discounted at by 1 lakh. So everybody would be like, why spend 6 lakhs when you can spend 4 lakhs and save 2 and get, get the same kind of feeling? or get the same type of car, right? So this is another strategy. So instead of creating a completely new sedan, you can see that they change their strategy and they reduce their price. So still their sales are going to be increased. So this is what game theory can predict if they already have some kind of data. So this is something wherein they are trying to compete with each other by applying different strategies. And this is where game theory comes into picture and it helps with assisting and analyzing which strategy to use against what player and how to win or how to maximize profit or minimize loss. So in game theory, we have different methods which will help us to actually solve numericals. So we have minimax or maximin method, which is also known as pure strategy. Then we have dominance method. We have algebraic method and matrix method. So we'll be going through each and every method in the further videos and we'll solve some numericals based on this. And you'll definitely understand because it's very easy. So I just wanted to give you a theoretical overview on game theory and I hope it's clear now. So that's it for this video guys. In the next video, we'll see some numericals based on one of the type of this game theory. So make sure you subscribe on this channel and do share this video with your friends as well. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.